I'm out to do a little experiment today. I've always wondered what is faster on my local trails. Is it my transition scout full sus or my Pace 627 hardtail? The trails I'm going to ride are both what you would expect each bike to be useful. Uh, kind of enduro, downhill, trail type things. So let's go and find out. Got a bit more climbing to do yet, so let's get on with it. So up first, and for no particular reason, is the Transition Scout, obviously full suspension. Um, I don't quite know why I've decided to do this today because uh, it is probably the coldest day of the year it's about minus two at the moment it's snowing and well the good thing is the ground is frozen completely solid so it's running fast um, I'm going to do two different runs each run I'll only do one time so if I uh, make a mistake or mess up or crash it's going to stay in that's my fault not the bikes Go. What I will try and do is use a tree as a marker and start a stop, start a stop watch from there. Um, I won't use Strava to time it. Um, if I can work out how to do it, I will put a stop watch on the screen, but I wouldn't hold out much hope for that. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely running quick. actually rotted up and frozen solid so it's pretty entertaining to say the least Right, this is run number two on the scout. Though the ground's hard, there's an element of surprise. All the time. Rut to bad.
much grip. Oh, that was good though. Very good. Fun. Not really sure doing this on the coldest day of the year. It was a good idea when I could have waited till summer. But I'm impatient like that. Let's go and get the hardtail. We're back with the hardtail now, the Pace RC627. Uh, let's see uh, how it goes. So we've got the same 150mm travel fork at the front, same tyres, same tyre pressure. Um, only difference is steel hardtail versus a full sus bike. Oh, and uh, the sun's come out and I've got sunglasses on. Right, run number three, or first run on the hardtail. Feels like it's got ice here. That could be a hard tail thing. It's down to be bumpier. Oh, case that. Thing I immediately noticed there was lack of braking control. Oh. Just to prove how slippery it is. So that could be down to the fact that the hardtail here has got lower quality brakes than the full sus or it could just be lack of grip at the back all right run number four and final run on the hardtail Definitely more cautious on the park now. Oh, and another mistake. Oh. 
Out. Ah, too many mistakes and uh, again it's through lack of braking control it's a rare treat and on the sunny south coast sub-zero temperatures and frozen trails normally in the winter we just get slop and more slop look at that how beautiful is that Right, what we found out today was that sunglasses won't make your hardtail faster than your full suspension bike. Um, I'll put the links down below, well not the links, the times below, so you can see which is faster. Uh, the fastest one's going to be in green, the slowest one will be in red. Um, but basically on each of the two trails, the full suspension bike was two to three seconds faster over about a 1 minute 40 second trail length um, what was noticeable more than anything back to back was um, the hardtail's got really budget brakes on it compared to the um, full sus and you, you could just feel the lack of braking control um, it felt like it really messed you around and also the hardtail's got um, a Suntour Ion Fork which is okay but it's pretty basic compared to the DVO fork on my full suspension bike and it was really noticeable today in isolation ridden by itself you kind of don't really notice these things you just get on with riding it because you have nothing to compare it with on that day but the small differences did, did feel noticeable to me um, it was obvious really that a full suspension bike was going to be faster but it was a fun little thing to do anyway um, there you go I'm not really that bothered to be honest I'm not racing so it doesn't matter um, I do like to keep an eye on things on Strava and I know I do alright on there so I'm not that fast I'm in the ballpark um, that's good enough for me um, so here's the part where I don't really care if you like or subscribe uh, I do this for my own entertainment more than anything but if you find it entertaining that's good um, take care